Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dominique. I'm so excited. This show may be my favorite show that I've done so far. We're making peach bellinis and sweet potato pancakes with a pecan glaze on top that I'm so excited about. I don't know if I'm more excited that I finally get to show you guys one of my favorite brunch drinks. This show is all about brunch. It's all about cute stuff. It's one of my favorite colors is orange. So we got the orange or coral actually, but we got the coral theme running through our peach bellini that we're going to make. And then we're going to show you how amazing my sweet potato pancakes are. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go run to my freezer and grab some frozen peaches that we're going to blend up in my Nutribullet. We're not going to use a big blender. We're going to use our Nutribullet because I feel like that yields the best results. So I grabbed my glasses out of the freezer. I froze them for obvious reasons. Who likes warm Bellinis? I like mine to be cold and nice and crisp, especially when the, the weather is hot outside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bag of frozen peaches and get this blend started. Okay. So I have about a medium bag of frozen peaches. Um, and I would not recommend using fresh peaches for this at all. Fresh peaches will not hold up to the blend and consistency that we want for these. Um, we want frozen ones. That's gonna help keep this cold and fresh and nice that we want. And then I'm going to cut open two lines. So sometimes lines are hard to get the juice out. So if you want to throw them in the microwave for like maybe 30 seconds, um, that helps them loosen up a little bit. So I have this little strainer that I'm going to put on top of here and the line on top. And we want two lines, um, which should yield us about five tablespoons of lime juice. You want as much lime juice as possible for this. Okay. So we're going to keep going. And squeeze all the lime out of this. I'm so excited to drink this. I mean, normally it's just a busy laundry day on Saturday. Sounds like someone is ready for a nap. You guys know how that is, but it's okay. He'll be fine. It's okay, Asher. Someone's getting sleepy. So, like I was saying, normally Saturdays are just jam-packed with laundry, doing the stuff that you normally can't do during the week because you're busy with your kids or if you're working like crazy. So, it's always nice when I'm able to kind of sit back on a Saturday and just relax with something fun like a peach bellini. Um, the weather's been super nice too. Sometimes you have to put a little bit of elbow grease into this to get all these limes out. All right, so before I blend this up, what I want to do is cut open another line and we are going to pre brim our glasses with our sugar and salt blend i have here about um a fourth cup of sugar and about half of a teaspoon of salt. So as you see what I did is I just lined the rim like that and then we're going to dip. Dip, baby, dip. That's what we're gonna do right now. Because when we sip on these, we want that sugary taste 
these. So I have three that I'm doing right now. This is like perfect for like girls night. You know, you're having a time. Nobody feels like going out and you want to just bring the restaurant, the bar to yourself. This is perfect for that. So oftentimes a lot of your traditional Bellinis are a little bit more um, blended. This one's not going to be as blended. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's just say you get to drink more champagne for this. So we're going to put the top on. Oops, I forgot. I want to add a little bit of sugar just to get this going. Go into my hand again. Okay, now we're going to blend this. It's going to get loud. But we got to do what we got to do. So sometimes that happens. It's not blending. What do you do? You add more lime juice. It's no big deal. It happens. Perfect. All right. So this one, it's not, we don't want it to get too blendy. And here is why. We want to scoop some of this and put this at the bottom of our drinks. I'm going to go grab a spoon really quick and spoon this on the bottom of our glasses like so. Okay. And if you're, you use the kind of glasses that I'm using like this, you um you just want to fill up that bottom portion like so and then the fun part the prosecco we're gonna pop this open so i'm a chicken when it comes to popping open champagne um for some reason when they pop open and i open them it seems like all the champagne wants to leave it's like i don't know what it is maybe it knows i'm scared of explosions or something so, all right, so I cleaned up a little bit and I got my glasses brim with the sugar salt mixture, got the, the pureed peaches on the bottom. It's really thick because when we pour the champagne, we don't want it to mix all the way. We want the peach to slowly come up and kind of like blend a little bit and hang out and chill a little bit. That way you can keep pouring champagne and not having to keep refilling the peach puree on the bottom. So that's one benefit to this. Let's get it popping. Okay. All right. So let's see what happens, guys. Okay. Oh my God, it's not exploding. I did it. Woo! Oh yeah. We're gonna fill these up to the top. Ooh, look at that. Exciting, guys. You just pour until the foam gets to the brim. And that's how you know you have just enough. Look at how cute that looks. Mm. So I kind of let it set a little bit. And then I'm thinking, hey, you know what goes good with champagne is more champagne, more Prosecco or champagne, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same stuff. And I have one last thing that I love to do. I like to grab a strawberry slice and just put that in here. Let the strawberry soak up all the goodness and it's like the perfect bite at the end of your drink. Right back. I just feel like the strawberry is like the perfect 
addition to these drinks. It's summertime, so you want to see the rainbow and everything. I'm ready to drink. So cheers, guys. It's Saturday. I'm going to sip this, and then we're going to show you how to make my sweet potato pancakes in a minute. Bottoms up. Mm. So let me tell you what happens. Did you see there? It's like bits of the peaches that come up and just like float around. So then it's like you get like little bursts in your mouth. So you can taste the champagne and everything. It's amazing. We'll be right back in a second. Sweet potato pancakes are coming. Right back. Mm. All right, so I saved my strawberry for the last, which is the best part. I'm going to eat it right now. And what it happens is it just soaks up all the alcohol. I mean, hold up. We already know it's Saturday. We talked about that already. But I'm going to eat this, and it's just, it's so sweet. And it soaks up all the flavor from the peaches, the Prosecco. It just screams Saturday in summertime. And I love it. And now what we're going to do is make these sweet potato pancakes and show you how easy they are to make. One more step. <laughs> so, the first thing I did was I baked one large sweet potato and I baked it for about um, an hour and a half because I wanted the sweet potato to get really soft and tender inside um, to where it's easy to mash and to kind of like be able to mix and to blend well in the batter that we are going to make for our sweet potato pancakes. So what I did was I got I mashed it up really good inside and then I melted about one fourth a cup of butter and I waited until the butter was really brown. What that does is it adds a nutty note to the batter. And here in my dry ingredients, I have one and a half cups of flour and a little bit of sugar, about maybe three tablespoons. And then next for our wet ingredients, we're going to blend those up first before we add them to our sweet potatoes. I'm going to crack one egg and then some vanilla extract. What's better than vanilla extract? I put them in all of my batters and um, whether I'm making pancakes, whether I'm making... Um, waffles, whatever it is I'm making, vanilla extract just makes your batters better as far as sweet things. So I melted that up real quick and I'm going to go throw this away. Or not throw it away. Open the sink. And then I'm going to add one or let's see. About one tablespoon of baking powder. The reason why you want to add a little bit more baking powder to this is because um, the sweet potatoes kind of make your batter really dense. So you're going to want to add more baking powder to it to fluffen, to fluffen up, fluffen. I can't speak today, obviously. Maybe it's the Prosecco. I don't know. It's hot. But we have about a tablespoon and a half of baking powder to this. I added a pinch of salt. And then I'm going to go get uh, one cup of milk. Okay. Sorry. One cup of milk to the eggs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my milk out because sometimes when you're blending with um, dense ingredients like your sweet potatoes or your bananas, sometimes what happens is it, it, it's, it's like an egg where it kind of makes it a little bit 
hard for the pancake to fluffen up or whatever it is that you're baking. So now we're gonna add our flour to the sweet potatoes and then our egg and milk. So we got that going on. Oops, did not make it in. And then we're gonna mix this together and see what happens. So I'm already able to tell that I'm gonna eat, need more milk to this because it is, um, it's a little bit dense as I expected, but it's okay. You just add more milk to this. And I want these to be like really orange. Like I want, when you see these pancakes, I want it to look like they are not just regular pancakes regular light brown pancakes and then i'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon just a little bit and a literally like a dash of nutmeg because at the end we're going to make a pecan glaze with syrup to add on the top of these pancakes so we're just going to take it over the top it's going to be so amazing and good Okay, just a little bit more milk. And then my amazing daughter is going to come in in a second and help us finish these out. So I added a little bit more milk to it. I'm gonna mix this up really good. And it's okay if it looks like it's gonna take you more time to mix it um, because the flour and the sweet potatoes kind of they immediately mix so just put in some more elbow grease you know and i talked about this before on um i think it was the first show where i was talking about my pancakes how i make them from scratch as opposed to a box and i just feel like your texture is just so much different when you just take the time to measure out the ingredients and just put it together you know so this is perfect i'm gonna hold the bowl like this and what you can see is you get a little bit of the chunks we're gonna melt some butter in a pan and get these going look at how amazing this looks so good okay i'm gonna cut my pan open and now i'm gonna add ask my amazing daughter to come in and help mommy out diara Okay. Hi, sweetie. So, can you grab a tablespoon? And I need you to put one tablespoon of butter in this pan. Okay, where can you? Um, no, this one. You can just use that one. That's fine. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And grab the butter. Get a whole spoon. Mm hmm. So, so per batch, I think one tablespoon of butter is perfect yeah. amount of coverage. Um, let's level that out like this, honey. That's perfect, really good. Okay. Now we're gonna put this in a pan like this. All right, and then just go put that back in the butter. Okay. And then I'm going to have her help me put the pan put the pancake batter in the pan. We're gonna get it going. Okay. And then kind of like mid batch, I'm going to make the the topping that goes on top of this. So, DR, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to this is about one uh half of a cup measure measuring cup. And that's going to be the perfect amount per pancake. That's all we need. Okay. okay? So, I'm going to put this right there, and then Diara, I want you to put one right here. Yeah, actually, okay, so why does this happen? I need someone to tell me this. When you're making pancakes and waffles and stuff, why is it that the first batch comes out so funky? Like, I mean, it's like, is the pan not ready the first time around? What happens? Like, I need someone to let me know exactly why because i feel like the first two pancakes are always kind of like a waste 
It's like, what happens? Someone let me know. Email me in the kitchen with Dominique at gmail.com and let me know what you guys do. All right, so we are, we have two that are ready and we have th and our second batch that's in the pan. What we're going to do now is make our pecan glaze and syrup for this. It's gonna be so amazing. First one I want, um, Tiara, can you help me just kind of like break these apart a little bit? Mm -hmm. So I lied <laughs> before and I was like, this first batch isn't gonna come out right, but it did. Um, perfect browning on both sides. And on, then I have this, um, these three that are in here, I'm going to check the other side really quick. Oh, perfect. Ready to flip. Okay, this one's not ready for yet. I can tell because it's still kind of like clinging to the, to the, um, to the pan. So in our small saucepan, I'm going to heat this really quick and then we're going to put our pecans in here um we're going to roast toast them up first and then we're going to put the butter the brown sugar cinnamon and syrup oh my god that's going to be the perfect topping for these pancakes i'm so excited so now i think this one is ready i'm going to use our back burner instead So let me know when you're done with those, baby, okay? Okay, I'm almost there. I just need one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Six. I just need six more. All right, so sometimes you have that one that just comes out funky. This one is going to be the one that comes out funky, but it's all good. What you do is you just add it to that. Now we're just gonna reflip that. So it's okay if it comes out like that. It's perfectly fine. It is no big deal. I'm gonna go rinse this off and we're just gonna keep stacking these pancakes. Mmm, they smell so good. I am so excited. It's like sweet potatoes. It does. And I am happy. It's like Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving. good. I mean, right? It doesn't want to be. Can I have that for Thanksgiving? Like sweet potato yes. pancakes? Yes. It's Thanksgiving. Mm hmm. Thing. The sweet potato. So, with the one, because like I said, sometimes what happens is when you use a dense ingredient like pancakes or in, in your pancakes, like bananas or sweet potatoes, what happens is. Sometimes it can trap in the moisture and not make it bready inside. So you kind of just kind of like play a little bit with it. You're not supposed to do this with traditional pancakes, but it's good to kind of like fill. If it puffs back up, then it means that it's bready. If it doesn't, then um, it means it's not all the way done in the middle. So what you could do is you can either finish them in the oven or you can just play around with them a little bit in the pan. Maybe like cut open a little bit of the side part and then just keep flipping and kind of like see what happens. But these look like they're ready to go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Can you put those? That's perfect. We don't, we don't need any more than that. And then this one. Right here? Yes. All right. So we're just going to let that kind of like hang out. See what we did? We just added the, the uncooked batter, mm -hmm. uncooked batter to that, and we're just gonna flip it, and it just becomes one like that. So, if you ever flip a, a pancake premature and the batter kind of separates, you just bring it together and then you flip it again on the other side that was already cooked, and then it kind of like completely cooks and does its thing. It's good to go. So these are gonna heat up. And the way that you tell is the moment you can smell the pecans, that means that it's good to go and it's ready for the butter and things. So right now I'm going to add um, more batter to this and we're just going to keep this going. 
I can still have the book hand. You I'll can? Okay. So just throw them around for me, baby. I cannot wait to taste these. I'm so excited. Alright, so let me see these. Okay, so I know, I saw them like. Not yet. We want it mm -hmm. to kind of pop a little bit more. And I'm going to go add, go grab one tablespoon of butter. Or two tablespoons of butter. More butter. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got the butter, brown sugar. Brown sugar. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it your pecan. Pecan, pecan, however you want to say them. That's your choice. That's your prerogative. I think I say pecan. I think that's how I say it. I thought I say pecan. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, so we're going to mix this around. It's going to make them kind of like candied a little bit. And then we're going to add this, the syrup to them in a minute. Oh, it's kind of, the, the kind of kind of melting. Mm-hmm. So good. All right, so, so the brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is perfect. That Check out so that, baby. Good. It's okay if you have spillage on the sides. Of them. It'll cook all the way through. You just gotta play with them a little bit in the pan. Oh my god. So good, right? Is this a drain? Can you put that in the sink for me? Sure. Alright, so this is going with the butter, pecans, the brown sugar. We're gonna drop some syrup. Oh my god. So good. We're gonna cut this off because that's ready to go. Okay. Now some syrup. And then that's going to reduce for like about five minutes. And by that time, our pancakes will be ready to pile up and plate. And we're good to go. Oh, wait. I forgot to add the cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. Okay. And then because we got that spillage on the side, we're going to have to flip this again. And that finishes on that side. Just kind of play with them, guys. Just keep flipping them and manipulating that temperature to work for you. Oh, that's so good. All right, so we're on our last batch. So exciting. I um, just wanted to point out really quick how important it is to re-oil or I use butter, but I know sometimes a lot of people use oil for their lubrication for their pan. I prefer butter. I like a little bit of a crispy perimeter on my pancake, which I think is just the perfect bite. Um, and it's better uh, for the pancake to get that browning that you need. As you see, these look funky, but it's okay. Like I said, we're going to just keep manipulating the heat with the flipping and stuff. So, this is almost done. And then we are going to... Um, just finish these out in about five minutes, and then we're going to pour that pecan glaze, the syrup, the butter, the cinnamon on top, and it is just going to be so good. You're not going to want to make regular pancakes ever again. Okay, Ciara, can you stir that for mommy, please, just to make sure that it's not, um, yeah. All right. So you gotta take it off to flip these. These could be a little tricky. It's okay. Yeah, perfect. All right. So our glaze is I good. Sure you started it. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I flip these, and I'm going to just keep flipping them because sometimes what happens is, like I said, the batter kind of oozes out a little bit. So. I'm going to make sure that these are all the way done. Mm, you can really smell the sweet potato, which is what I love about these. Like, people are going to know that these are sweet potato pancakes. I think when you make stuff, like people should get the gist of what's going on. They shouldn't be like, oh, 
What is that? You should know by the smell. I mean, you know. It's almost done. All right. So are you gonna be ready in a minute to pour that on? Yep, I'm already ready. Cut the heat off. I'll put this in the Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. So these are ready. Perfect. Yes, that's what I want. One way to tell too is when you're making like fancy schmancy pancakes is to get your spatula and if anything oozes out, guess what that means? They're not done. Nothing oozes out of these, so they're done. All right, so we're gonna pick these up. We are good to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Okay. Are you ready, Jared, to taste these? Yes. So good. See how kind of like funky they come out? Like, I, love I love that. Funky. I love it. Mm-hmm. You get that person. Okay. Got that going. Pour it. This part's still hot. Though. And this is the magic. We're going to pour that all on top. You guys, I mean, what is better than that? that? Right, Yar? What? Look at Is this this my eyes or am I drinking? That just happened. We made sweet potato pancakes with pecan glaze. So good. 